Live from Azure, Kentucky, this is Jamin Jones Wrestling News. Here's your news for Thursday, July 26, 2018. New Japan Pro Wrestling star Bad Boy Tamatonga, who was recently put in Twitter jail over controversial tweets made towards fans, blamed his situation on Roman Reigns. Here is what Tonga wrote, followed by Reigns' response. It all started when Tama Tonga tweeted, You ain't nobody, which? Of course, that is an alternative for the B word, gotta keep it PG. Roman Reigns fired back at Tama Tonga by saying, Sounds like something from a Drake album. Oh wait, it is. To which Tama Tonga replied, Got the hashtag snitch. Your bark can't seem to get over your yard for me to hear you. My yard has no fences. Come test your skills here anytime. Jealousy is a witch trait. What album is that from? Hashtag Roman the Rat. Roman Reigns fired back at Tamatonga by saying, I actually doubled your little video's views for you in like four hours. You should be thankful. Thanks for the laughs though. To which Tamatonga replied, Thanks for timekeeping and view counting. Must be looking for new material. Riders gave up on you? If you need more laughs, just continue fist cocking. It gets funnier every time. The WWE today announced financial results for its second quarter ending on June 30th, 2018. We're pleased with our continued success in increasing the monetization of WWE content globally, said Vince McMahon, the WWE Chairman and Chief Executive Officer. This success is evidenced by the completion of our new U.S. distribution agreements with USA Network and Fox Sports, the staging of another record-breaking WrestleMania, and the development of a 10-year strategic partnership with the Saudi General Sports Authority. George Barrios, the co-president, added, During the second quarter, we generated a 79% increase in adjusted OIBDA. We are raising our 2018 adjusted OIBDA target to a range of $160 million to $170 million, which would be an all-time record. By executing our strategy and engaging our passionate global fan base, we can continue to deepen the moat around our business. We believe this will enable us to drive long-term growth and shareholder value. Revenues increased 31% to $281.6 million, driven by the increased monetization of content as reflected in the media segment. Operating income nearly doubled to $21.2 million from $10.7 million in the prior year quarter reflecting increased profits from the media segment, which were partially offset by an increase in management incentive compensation based on anticipated strong four-year results and the rise in the company's stock price. The company's operating income margin was 8% as compared to 5% in the prior year quarter. Adjusted OIBDA was increased 79% to $43.5 million. The company's adjusted OIBDA margin increased to 15% from 11% in the prior year quarter. Net income increased to $10 million, or $0.11 cents per share, as compared to $5.1 million, or $0.06 cents per share in the prior year quarter. The effective tax rate declined to 31% from 35% in the prior year quarter, driven by the reduced federal income tax rate in the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act of 2017, also known as the Tax Act. During the third quarter of 2018, in connection with the vesting of annual stock-based awards, the company expects to recognize an income tax benefit between $20 million and $25 million, as compared to $1.6 million during the prior year quarter, this benefit results from the difference between the deduction for tax purposes and the compensation costs recognized related to these awards. The increase in the tax benefit during the current year is driven by the increase in the company's stock price. The company expects this benefit to have a significant impact on its effective tax rate during the three months ending on September 30, 2018. Cash flows generated by operating activities reached $74.2 million and free cash flow totaled $66.4 million as compared to $10.8 million and $2.6 million respectively in the prior year quarter. The growth in both measures was primarily due to improved operating performance. For the six months ending on June 30, 2018, revenues increased 16% to $469.3 million from $403 million, 
Operating income increased to $43 million from $14.7 million, and adjusted OIBVA increased to $78.7 million from $49.5 million. The net income increased to $24.8 million, 29 cents per share, from $6 million, 8 cents per share, in the prior year period. Cash flows generated by operating activities reached $76.8 million, and free cash flow totaled $64.6 million, as compared to $13.8 million and $1.3 million, respectively, in the prior year quarter. The growth in both measures was primarily due to improved operating performance. Cash, cash equivalents, and short-term investments were $342 million as of June 30, 2018, and the company estimates debt capacity under its revolving line of credit of approximately $100 million. A lot of money being made for the WWE. No surprise there. When a fan brought up the idea of Gail Kim possibly appearing at WWE's Evolution pay-per-view, here was Kim's response. Gail Kim tweeted, Happy for the women in the company, but if I ever made a return, it would only be for Impact Wrestling. A fan asked her on Twitter, Why would she not appear in WWE? And Gail Kim said, Because I've been there twice. I have never been happy there. Life is about happiness. Impact Wrestling is my happiness. It's not about money sometimes. People just don't understand that. The WWE has released a new commercial for the season premiere of Total Divas on September 19th while using the tagline All In to promote the show. Pretty interesting stuff. Dave Meltzer of 4 fwonlinecom is reporting that WWE has interest in New Japan Pro Wrestling star Juice Robinson. Robinson, who previously worked in NXT as CJ Parker, has apparently impressed officials with his recent performances. Meltzer noted that Robinson is actually not under contract to New Japan Pro Wrestling, and WWE can legally approach him about joining the company. On the latest edition of Wrestling Observer Radio, 4 fwonlinecoms Dave Meltzer was asked about Shinsuke Nakamura possibly returning to New Japan Pro Wrestling soon. According to Meltzer, Nakamura's contract is set to expire in February and confirmed that there is interest from New Japan Pro Wrestling, Here's what Meltzer said regarding Nakamura and NJPW. Meltzer said, It wouldn't completely shock me. I know they do want him back. There will be attempts, and for all those guys, Gallows and Anderson, if they want to go back there, they can go back there. They're kind of treading water in WWE. Who knows how that's going to go? I don't anticipate anyone going back there, but you just don't know how people feel and what people want out of life. Meltzer also added that Nakamura is in a good spot with WWE right now as he can work a toned down style and his family lives with him in Florida. Thanks to WrestlingNews.co for the quotes. CZW's website is advertising Matt Riddle for this Saturday with a graphic and a caption that reads, Don't miss one of Matt Riddle's final indie appearances before going to WWE. Brian Alvarez of 4FWOnline.com noted the following about CZW's advertisement by saying, you're not supposed to do that. Matt Riddle is not officially allowed to say he's going to WWE. It's one of those WWE rules like you can only make one save in a tag match. You can't say you're going to WWE until they announce you're going to WWE, which is ironic because they want other people to announce everything else. Thanks to ringsidenews.com for the quotes. In a recent interview with WWE, Bailey revealed who she wants to face at Evolution by saying, It's just like the Royal Rumble. You didn't know who was going to come out next, and I have to say, I wish I had gotten in the ring with Lita. So maybe we can have that match. Maybe I can make my own match right now. If I could have a match against Lita, that's like a dream match in the first ever all-women's pay-per-view, Evolution. That'd definitely be one hell of a match. I'd love to see that. And finally, here on Jam and John's Wrestling News, ProWrestlingSheet.com reports that WWE made an estimated 40 to $50 million dollars for the Greatest Royal Rumble event, due to confidentiality clauses, the WWE did not officially release a figure. However, WWE saw a revenue increase in the other category from $11.9 million in 2017 to $60.6 million in 2018. All WWE said was that the increase was due to the distribution of certain programming content in international markets. It's unknown if the estimated figure was WWE's entire payment for a 10-year deal with Saudi Arabia or if this was the first of more payments. 
For comparison purposes, WrestleMania 34 generated $14.1 million in revenue. And that is your news for Thursday, July 26, 2018. Check back here tomorrow for another Jamin' John's Wrestling News Flash Briefing on Amazon Alexa devices. Big shout out to everybody listening to this on YouTube. If you haven't yet, go subscribe to my YouTube channel, Stewie Family is the name. Follow me on Twitter at John Caldwell, J-O-N-C-O-L-W-E-L-L. Follow me on Instagram, the Jammin' John. If you'd like to sponsor Jammin' John's Wrestling News, or you're a wrestling promotion wanting to get your next big event out through the awesome power of Amazon Alexa, you can email me, jzcaldwell at gmail.com. That's J-Z-C-O-L-W-E-L-L at gmail.com. Big shout out to Ryan Hurdle for subscribing to my Patreon. You too can subscribe to me by going to patreon.com slash jamminjohn. I have free packages on there ranging from free to $7. Not a whole lot of money. I would really appreciate it if you supported me a little bit financially. Once again, that's patreon.com slash jamminjohn. This is Jamin' John saying thanks, goodbye, and I'll see you tomorrow.